Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning. My name is Patrick Shaw. I'm the president of Blythe Academy. We're the largest group of private high schools in Canada. But I'm here today to talk to you about Blythe Templeton Academy, a new model for micro schools here in the US. Blythe Templeton represents, anyway, let me make sure I know how to do this, represents a partnership between two families with enormous credibility in building innovative education companies. Sam Blythe is the founder and chair of Blythe Academy and is celebrating his 40th year in education. He's been orchestrating um, study abroad programs overseas since 1977 and since 2005 has been building Blythe Academy, a group of private high schools in Canada and around the world. Sam's partner in Blythe Templeton Academy is Dennis Keller. Dennis founded the Keller Graduate School of Management in 1974 and took over the DeVry Institute in 87. Collectively, DeVry University now educates over 40,000 students a year around the world. Temp's son, Temp Keller, has followed his father's footsteps into education, founding Templeton Learning and now acting as president of Blythe Templeton Academy. I'd like to acknowledge that both Sam and Dennis are with us here today. Now, to start with a deeper introduction to Blythe Academy, parents are uniformly both surprised and happy with how well their children fare academically when they return from these month-long educational journeys abroad. It's this type of unique experiential education environment that we've sought to recreate at Blythe Academy. We've equated the small travel groups with small class sizes, but truly small class sizes, a maximum of 12 students and an average of seven. Our classes resemble more of a university tutorial or even a working group uh, at your office. These environments allow for personalized ed instruction. There's no back rows where students can hide and teachers can tailor their teaching to the individual needs and individual learning style of each student. Next is experiential learning. It is our mandate to get students either out of the classroom or bring the outside world into the classroom as much as possible. With our small school size, we can plan a class outing within minutes and, and they can happen on the spur of the moment. Next, we've broken the school year into four terms with students only ever studying two courses at a time. This is called block teaching and it does wonders with alleviating stress, heightening focus, and maximizing learning time. Next, we've married the educational philosophy with our business model, seeking to make private education affordable and accessible in a whole new way. We look for unique spaces to house our schools that allow for flexibility. In metropolitan areas, we want to be in the heart of things, supporting experiential, experiential learning with close proximity to cultural institutions and events. We build schools that are part of their communities, leveraging local resources. So for gym class, we might use the gym down the street that's otherwise underused during the day. Art class would be held in a local, the nearby uh, art gallery, and biology perhaps in the local conservation area. We then seek to use these facilities 24-7, offering private, uh, private tutoring or night classes in the evenings, classes on the weekends, and brought vibrant summer schools during July and August. All of this helps us to manage costs, keeping tuition below $15,000 a year and opening up private education to a whole new portion of the population. Blythe Academy now has 14 schools in Ontario and new schools in Doha, Qatar, and in Florence, Italy. Our global high school sees students spending the academic year traveling together around the world with their teachers. Our international summers program sends over 1,000 students to over 30 countries uh, around the world every year. One of the fastest, er um, fastest growing areas of, the, of the, the organization is Blythe Academy Online. It's our school for virtual learning. The school is now just two and a half years old and already has 3,000 students enrolled. The whole organization offers incredible intercon interconnectivity. Students can incorporate as many of these options as they want, allowing them to completely customize their education. And we're very proud of our results. Here's just a sample of the universities and colleges where our students have been accepted in the past two years. And it's important to note, 95% of Blythe Academy students re receive first choice university or college acceptance, and 50% 50% receive full or partial entrance scholarships. So, while we've been busy building Blythe Academy in Canada, Temp Keller was busy building Templeton Learning here in Austin, Texas, and developing what he called QAPS, Quality Affordable Private Schools. 
Temp's goal was remarkably similar to what we were doing, finding a way to make private education more affordable. When Sam began contemplating bringing the Blythe model into the US, he called his friend Dennis, and he said, who would, who would you recommend as a partner? Dennis, of course, knew just the guy. And the connection to Temp's project was made, and Blythe Templeton Academy was formed. Our first school is located in Capitol Hill in Washington, DC. It's housed in the old Naval Hospital, uh, which is in the vibrant community of um, Eastern Market. And it's walking distance to both Capitol Hill itself and to the Smithsonian. <coughs> the school is expertly led by Lee Palmer, former head of, school, of the upper school at Sidwell Friends. Excuse me. We see Blythe Templeton as a cousin to the Blythe model in Canada. Similarities include block teaching, truly small class sizes, and a focus on empathy. Differences include curriculum, Blythe Templeton's unique foundations program, and an unparalleled experiential program that results from its uh, exceptional location. The first year draws to a close next month and results have been terrific. Uh, this year's grads ha have um, acceptances into arts programs at Oberlin and Sarah Lawrence, and into engineering at the University of Wisconsin and astrophysics at the University of Minnesota. I think I'm being told I have one minute. So um, our next phase is where we're going next. Will it be New York City? Will it be Portland, Maine? Will it be Providence, Rhode Island? We're not sure. But what we do know is this decision is going to be around people who are integral to our success. So if you're an adventurous and innovative educator looking and interested in our model, or you know someone with those traits, please introduce yourself to us. We'd be delighted to have you join our team. Um, so thank you very much. There's no time for questions, but I'll be here as well as Sam and Dennis uh, afterwards if you want to speak.